Hey everybody, this is Eric Quarry, and welcome to video two in our three-part series on the magic of the 90-day game plan, the power of the 90-day game plan. There's something about this, in, this burst of intensity, this, this campaign to give 100% that generates lots of results, and we talked about that in video one, the, this idea of being able to use that energy and that focus to be able to attract a lot of attention, be able to attract a lot of excitement and momentum. But there's a difference between just working hard and doing it professionally. If this was your profession, how would you approach a 90-day game plan? If you were to put together a business plan and raise money based upon that business plan, what would it look like? And in network marketing, we tend to not treat it like a business. We treat it like, okay, I'm just going to work really hard. You're going to, you, guess what? If you just decide to work really hard for the next 90 days, you're going to get a lot of results. But so many people charge out there. They get excited. They watch something like this and they say, you know what? I'm starting a 90 day game plan tomorrow. And that's fine, but there's a better way. There's a better way to approach it. There's a better way to do it. There's a way that will get you five to ten times the results of just working hard. If you're going to work hard anyway, wouldn't it be better to work smart in addition to working hard? So today I'm going to talk about how to work smart, how to do a 90-day game plan smart. And there are four phases of a professional 90-day game plan. There's the, one, the preparation phase. I'm going to give you that in detail. Two, there is the pre-launch phase. Very exciting, very reward-filled phase, pre-launch. Three is the launch, the actual 90-day game plan, the 90-day period of time where you're going to really push it. And four is a big event at the end of the 90-day game plan, something that focuses everyone's attention and gets everybody um, engaged in a common goal. So... Let's talk about the four phases. First is preparation. Um, I can't tell you how much drama is created when people don't prepare properly for a 90-day game plan. Um, the first thing that you need to do when you're deciding to do this is you're going to be mapping out what, how long your preparation phase is, when your pre-launch is going to start, how long your pre-launch is going to be, when your launch is going to start, how long that launch campaign is, and when your event is going to happen. In preparation phase, you need to think about those four dates. You know, date number one, your preparation phase. Date number two, well, your pre-launch phase. Date number three, your launch date. Date number four is your event. Okay? So, first of all, you got to kind of think through that. And, and by the end of this, you should be able to think through your, the four phases and where they need to go and how they need to be implemented. Um, so be thinking about those, those uh, kind of mapping it out, pulling out your calendar and mapping out what it's all going to look like. And you won't be able to map it out right this second, but by the end of this video, you should be able to map it out pretty effectively. Second thing that needs to happen during your preparation phase is you need to negotiate with your life. You need to talk to your family and say, you know, look, I'm, I'm, preparing to do something really hard over the course of this period of time. And it's going to require a total focus. It's going to be, require some sacrifice, not just from me, but because I'm sacrificing, it's going to require some sacrifice from the family. Are you okay with that? Is it okay if mama goes really hard for this period of time, and then at the end of it, we're going to be able to enjoy the benefits? Or is it okay if dad is here but not really here during this period of time, and we're going to be able to get long-term benefit from it. I told you I've earned millions of dollars and I've taught people how to earn millions of dollars with a 90 day game plan. But if you don't negotiate with your family up front, uh, you're going to find that the 90 day game plan will create a lot of bitterness and resentment because they don't understand that there's a beginning, middle and an end to this. And they don't, you know, they, they think mom or dad just kind of disappeared on them. So you got to negotiate with your family. You got to negotiate with your life. You've got to decide what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do. You've got to eliminate distractions. You've got to set the stage so you can go 
And um, I got an email yesterday from a gentleman that said, you know, hey, I'm really interested in the 90 day game plan, but I have a spouse who's been very supportive and I've been through four or five things over the course of the last four or five years and my spouse is losing enthusiasm. I'd like to do this 90 day game plan, but how do I get past this hurdle? The, the only way you get past this hurdle is if you have a conversation with your spouse and say, look, you know, my advice to the gentleman that sent me the email is tell your spouse, look, I'm going to give it a really hard 100% during this period of time. And if we don't agree that we got good results from this, well, then we can reevaluate. The reason why I can say that with confidence is I know that if you engage in the 90 day game plan fully, you'll get the results. You'll be able to have that spouse that says, you know, all right, I'm seeing something now. I'm seeing some results now. I'm seeing something break through now. And then you can have that conversation. Um, so there's a lot of conversations that need to happen. You got to decide during this period of time that it's almost like a professional football player goes into training camp. And during training camp, there's not a lot of family time and there's not a lot of, uh, you know, and then they go into their season. There's little periods here and there for family, but mostly they are focused on their objective. They're doing it for their family, but they're not with their family for that period of time, that season. And that's what this is about. It's about clearing the decks and giving 100% so you can enjoy the benefits long after the season is done. See, the professional athlete does it for the millions of dollars that they'll be able to enjoy down the road. The professional network marketer does it so they can enjoy the results for a long period of time also. So you got to really be thinking about all of these things and you got to have an honest conversation with um, the people in your life. You got to just determine and we're going to talk in video three about your personal commitment, the time that's required, time management, what you're going to need to do, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the second thing you need to do during your, your uh, preparation phase. So one is pick your dates. Two is negotiate with your life, with your family, with everything else that's going on um, and make sure everybody's on board. And three is you're going to use this preparation time to do some of the most valuable recruiting you'll ever do in network marketing. And here's what I mean by that. If I were to approach you in my preparation phase, first of all, that would be a good situation for you. Uh, but secondly, what what um, what I'm going to say to you, to you is this. Look, I'm about to engage in a campaign that's going to create wealth for me and the people that I work with. A campaign that's going to create results far beyond any of our expectations. Right now, I'm in preparation phase. And I'm putting together a little mastermind group of people who are going to lock arms with me during this short burst of energy in order to be able to obtain long-term results. So, you know, based upon just that idea, are you with me? You know, I, of course you want to get some information. Of course you want to see what's required. But I'm looking to lock arms with some people and really go after it. You know, does that appeal to you? Is that, does that interest you? Are you sick and tired of crawling through your existence? You want to break free. Because guess what? In a very short period of time, in under six months, we can be on our way to wealth. We can change everything about our lives. See, with that approach, you can, you can, you can um, prospect people that you can't prospect other, any other time. You can go to the most successful people you know and say, guess what? I'm about to do something extraordinary and I'm looking for people who want to do it with me. And here's the plan. Here's what we, we're going to expect during that plan. And here's the long-term benefits of doing it with me. People are attracted to a campaign. They're attracted to um, a short burst of energy for a long-term gain. They're attracted to that. So you have the opportunity to recruit extraordinary people during this preparation phase. There's something about saying, hey, look, the world doesn't know about this yet. We haven't even talked about this yet. It is not for public. It is top secret. But here's the plan. And I'm looking for some of the sharpest people I know. Are you in or are you out? Here's the information. Here's our product. Here's our compensation plan. Here's our game plan of what we're going to do. We're going to have all these people at this event. And we're going to be able, me and this mastermind group, are going to get the biggest benefit. 
That's why I'm talking to you now. I'm, I'm going to pull the trigger here. The train's going to leave. And you don't certainly don't have to do it. But if you're ever thinking about doing something in this arena, this is the perfect situation for you. See, I've recruited some of the most valuable people in my entire career during preparation phase. There, it, it appeals to people's ego. It appeals to people's um, pride. It appeals, you know, you're approaching them because they know we know something that the world doesn't know yet. And you have, you're going to have the opportunity to build a great core group, a core mastermind team of leaders to be able to, when you click into pre-launch, you've got a team in place, committed, ready, understanding what's required of them, and ready to really take action. So the biggest part of preparation phase is recruiting your mastermind group. Now, depending on your level of belief, skill, whatever, uh, I'm a big believer that you should try and build a mastermind group of 10 to 20 people. 20 is kind of a target. Now, you don't have to have 20 to have a great 90-day game, uh, game plan. 20 is a great number. You can do more than that if you want, but you can do less than that if you want. If you have five people on your team, uh, mastermind group in your preparation phase, then fantastic. If you have two or three, great. It's more than what you would have had, and you could start your pre-launch and build the team from there. But I would encourage you to really go crazy trying to meet as many people as possible during preparation phase before you go public and getting uh, the team built. So let's assume you have a team of 10, you and nine other people by the time you're done with pre-launch. Um, one of the big things you're going to be doing is you're going to be aiming all of your efforts at this big event, phase four, the big event, where you're going to, you know, everything that you're going to be doing during this campaign is going to be filling up that event. See, here's the thing that uh, most people don't understand. If you want to make little money in network marketing, just sell the product. If you want to make medium money in network marketing, sell the product and sell your opportunity. And if you want to make huge money in network marketing, sell tickets to your big event while you're selling your opportunity and selling your product. See, I found that the biggest leaders sell tickets. They fill rooms. They put butts in seats. They, they figure out a way and a campaign and a game plan to put a lot of people into the room. Because when you put people into the room, you get momentum that you can't get in any other form. So let's say you, you have a goal to put 1,000 people in a room at your phase four. After your 90-day launch period, you want to put 1,000 people in the room. Okay. If you're going to put a 1,000 people in the room and you have 10 people on your team, how many tickets does each person have to be responsible for? 100, right? So let's say your tickets are $5 or $10 a piece, something. Let's say it's $10, okay? $10 a piece for your ticket. And you've got a 1,000 tickets printed up. Each person on your team is committed and gets 100 tickets at 10 bucks. What is that? A $1,000 commitment. $1,000 commitment. You now have $10,000 that you can use to create an amazing event. And your goal is going to be moving those tickets down into to prospects and distributors and customers to be able to attend that event. So now you've got a team of 10 people. You've, you've um, negotiated with your family. You've picked your dates. You've got your tickets. You've got your 10 people who have committed to 100 each. And you're going to help them now. Build their team so it's very easy for them to match up those tickets with people. Okay? So preparation phase is complete. And you, you're telling that story to as many people as possible. You're building your mastermind team. Mastermind team is complete. Now you start phase two, which is your pre-launch. You've been around in network marketing. There's a lot of excitement when a company is in pre-launch. You know, when a product is in pre-launch. Uh, it's exciting. It's interesting. It's fun. And you have the opportunity inside of your company to do the same thing, to create another pre-launch for your campaign inside of your group. So during pre-launch phase, guess what you're going to be doing? You're going to be helping each one of the people on your team. Let's say, again, you've got 10 people on the team. We're going to be helping them create a team before the launch. You understand? So you've got 10 people on the team, a good goal would be to, to work to tell the story 
to those people's prospects, your mastermind group, to their prospects, to get at least 10 people on their team. And what story are you going to be telling with your people? If I'm sitting down with one of my mastermind group, we're going to be mapping out a plan to get at least 10 new people on their team, right? And when we get those 10 people on the team, you're going to, and, and how are you going to get the people on the team? You're going to tell them the story. We're in pre-launch right now. We're going to launch on such and such a date. We've got this big event. We've got a 1,000 tickets. Tickets are already sold. We have them here. You're going to be able to get some into your hands, put prospects into that room. And when you do that, it's going to be a mind blower when we finish that phase four and we, we conclude the big event. Here's what's in it for you if you do that. Here's what's in it for you if you put together a team that does it too. So the pre-launch phase, now you've gone from 10 people to 110 people. And each one of those people, you know, each one of the mastermind group has 100 people on the team, right? Or excuse me, 100 tickets. They've got 10 people on the team. Well, each of those 10 people, all, what do they have to, to, to do as far as a requirement? 10 tickets. Just 10 tickets. So now you've got 110 people with 10 tickets. You've got over 1,000 tickets out into the marketplace. And you've got a lot of momentum. You've gone from a zero start, and you haven't even launched yet, to a team built and helping them each get a team built. Now, some of the people in your mastermind group will get one, two, or three people involved. Some people get 15 or 20 people involved. It doesn't matter. But if you average 10 each, and you can, this is the most powerful season. This is what people walk away from when they just start their 90-day game plan without doing a proper pre-launch. The pre-launch is incredibly powerful because, again, those people feel like they're involved early. They each have their 10 tickets. They're excited. They're, and what are they going to be starting to do? They're going to be starting to tell their, that story about the event and the game plan and what they're going to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So pre-launch phase is amazingly powerful. If you just start your launch, you walk away from some incredible leverage to being able to tell a pre-launch story. Pre-launch story is incredibly powerful. So... You got your launch, you got your pre-launch, and during pre-launch, you're also going to be you know, organizing the event, and you're going to be putting together your calendars and schedules for your launch, right? And then you're going to start your launch, phase three. The launch is powerful. And um, on all four of these phases, I do a two-day workshop, which is over 12 hours of in-depth mapping it out, all the exact details. But let me just give you the, the rough... Um, kind of agenda of a launch. The purpose of the launch is for you and as many people as you can get with you to double, triple, quadruple their effort, to give it 100% focus for 90 days. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly 90 days. Maybe it's 60 days. Maybe it's 120 days. It's a little bit flexible, but 90-day periods of time, people can focus. So what's our goal during this 90-day period of time? for this group of 110 people, or however many you have, to tell the story of what's going to happen at the event. That's your job. While you're telling people about your products, while you're telling people about your opportunity, you're going to be telling the story, here's what's going to happen at the event. Wealth is going to be created there. Um, you know, Rank advancement and incomes and, and bonuses, and you can't believe what's going to happen at this event. It's going to be spectacular. It's going to be amazing. It's going to happen on such and such a date. Here's the tickets. You've got to be there. And when they're telling the story, that is the easiest time for them to recruit that person into the team. So instead of just getting one ticket or two tickets, they might get 10 or 20 or 30 tickets. And then they engage in the effort with you to tell the story as many times as possible during 90 days. See, in this 90-day game plan, one of my early mentors told me, look, it's a race. Whoever talks to the most people wins, period. During the 90 days, whoever talks to the most people wins. So that means you need to lead by example as the leader of this group, talking to more people than you've ever talked to in your life over the course of the 90 days. What are you going to be telling? The story of what's going to happen at the event. That's what you're going to be telling. And you're going to be teaching other people how to tell the same thing. So can you see how quickly and easily you can get a thousand tickets from a standing start? A thousand tickets moved into people's hands if you work really, really hard. If you tell the story more than anybody else. See, let's say you could tell the story to 200 people over the course of 90 days. And you could tell it to more than that. But let's just say it's 200 people. Well, if you have a team of 100 people, 
who can each tell it to 200 people. That's 20,000 people are going to hear the story over the course of 90 days. Wow. Now we're talking about leverage, what network marketing does best. So during that 90-day game plan, you're going to be telling the story of what's going to be happening at the event. You're going to be pushing your mastermind group to do everything they can over the court, telling the story about the, the, the big event. And you're going to be telling the rest of the team to do the same thing. Now you're going to fill that 90 days with all kinds of different activities. You're going to be filling it with webinars. You're going to be filling it with conference calls. You're going to be filling it with three-way phone calls. You're going to be filling it with small group meetings. You're going to be filling it with in-home meetings. You're going to be filling it with hotel meetings. You're going to be filling it with trainings. And what's your training going to be about? How to tell the story about what's going to happen at this event. That's what the training is about. Total focus on this campaign. Like you're promoting a concert, but you have a big team of people who have a big financial interest in not only the day of the concert, but the residual effect from that concert for a long period of time. So that's what the launch does. You see the leverage that starts to be created here? The story that starts to be created? You say, well, I don't know if I can get 10 people on my team. Well, what if you got five people on your team and they each got five? Okay, so you had 30 people on the team. Well, 30 people telling the story to two or 300 people, you're still telling the story to, what, six to 9,000 people over the course of a 90-day period of time. What's going to happen to your business? It's no secret that this creates huge amounts of wealth. This creates huge amounts of momentum. This creates huge amounts of bonus checks and rank advancements and excitement and awards and recognition. All in a very short period of time. Think about that. Think about what that does for your business. So that's the launch. And there's a lot more to the launch. But, uh, you know, to really map it out, time management and blitz days and, you know, uh, lots of nuance, but understand the concept here, right? Preparation is when you're putting your mastermind group together, you're negotiating with your life, and you're picking your dates. Pre-launch, when each of your mastermind group puts together their inner circle, and we're moving tickets into that group. Launch is we tell the story to as many people as we possibly can. Whoever tells the story to the most people wins. You're going to be all out, massive action, you and everybody in your group. And you're going to be creating amazing momentum and excitement. And then phase four is the event itself. And the event can be anywhere from a three-hour evening to a, an all-day extravaganza. But if you've got a 1,000 tickets at $10 each, you've got a $10,000 budget to throw an amazing party and to throw an amazing experience. So during that event, you're going to be sharing the opportunity. You're going to be sharing the products. You're going to be sharing the vision of the company, the story. You're going to have special guests. You know, and we could talk about how to create special guests. And we do that in the seminar, how to create an agenda that's amazing. But understand the basics of create an amazing event, an amazing experience. You've got a $10,000 budget to do it. You can get a room for 1,000 people, you know, in your local area for that. You can have... You know, a nice display. You can have good music. You can have a fun experience over the course of that day. And I want you to imagine something. You, from, from the beginning of this, I want you to imagine what would it feel like to have a thousand people that were not involved in your business when you started, a thousand people in your downline, in a room, at the end of this campaign. What would that do for your life? What it did for me is it created wealth. What it did for me is it created cash flow. What it did for me is it created uh, prestige and a story. You become somebody. You go from, I promise you, when you do this, you'll be the most talked about person in your company. Everybody's going to say, where did they come from? They've been here for forever. They, they've never done anything like this before. And all of a sudden, they just went crazy. How did they do that? You did it because you approach this not just by working hard, because a lot of you have been working hard already, is working smart in addition to working hard. Think about what it would feel like to have that thousand people in the room. You're sitting in the back of the room, somebody's doing a presentation, and you look out at the room and realize that everybody in the room is in your downline. Change your life. Bring that spouse that wasn't supportive or, or maybe didn't trust based upon your results in the past. Bring them to that event and have them take a look. It's going to be fun. 
Bring that doubting family member that's been giving you a hard time. Have them sit in and see what you're doing and what you're accomplishing. Can you feel what that would feel like? That's what happens in the four phases of the 90-day game plan. You take total control. Now, I might have laid it out in a way that sounds easy. It's not easy. You're going to work harder than you've ever worked in your life. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I did a 90-day game plan in 1992, and the next year I made $980,000. I did a 90-day game plan in 2005, and in the next six years, I made $7 million. Not bad, right? And I've taught hundreds of people how to do the same exact thing. So now that you kind of understand the map of it, right, start thinking about the four dates. Preparation phase can start today. How long are you going to allow yourself to do your negotiating, to pick your dates, to pick your venue, all that stuff for your, for your four different dates you got to pick, and to recruit your mastermind group? How long are you going to give yourself to do that? Then pre-launch starts. How long is that pre-launch period of time going to be between you and your mastermind group to put together all your inner circles, move the tickets down, get everybody ready? When's your launch date going to be? And then how long is that launch going to be before your event happens? And it's your event. This is something that you need to create. Okay? And what and fourth, what is the date for your event? Are you getting a little bit of a picture as to how this can work? Like I say, I train people on really how to break it all down, like create a business plan, map it all out, uh, figure out all the time management, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, this will give you a roadmap on exactly how to do that. Now, in video number three, which you're going to get in a couple days, video number three, we're going to talk about what's required of you, what you need to do in order to be able to really uh, manage all this. What's required of you? What's your commitment? What, what's uh, your, your, your time commitment, your energy and emotion, the, everything that you've got to invest in, uh, managing your time, managing people, um, learning how to be a leader, those types of things. We're going to talk about that in video number three. But I, I hope by now you've seen in video number one and video number two a roadmap for you to be able to break free, for you to, for you to be able to go to another level. Uh, you really can and I'm excited for you to do that. So uh, hope you've enjoyed video number two. And video number three is coming in a couple days. Um, map it out. And we'll talk about commitment on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.